Greetings everyone, this is the Hipster Snack, and today I'm taking a look at Sunline. I'll be perfectly honest, I don't remember downloading this or really why I would have or how I did. I'm just gonna jump into it and see what happens. I don't know a thing about Two minutes and 30 seconds. You are getting slower. Oh, thanks. I? Didn't notice. You're welcome. I believe that you were losing speed rounding the last corner. <gasps> My calculations suggest that if you were to correct your spinal alignment by five degrees, you would be able to make the turn faster. Noted. I'll make sure to watch out for my, uh, spine alignment next time. Shall we run the course again? I'm gonna take a breather. Would you like me to resume grabbing us towards the operator? Sure. Use the mouse look around, watch to move, space to jump. Looks like this is as simple as it gets. Whoa. Hi. We... Back off, dude. Ha! Left control to begin sliding. Now, oh, it's kind of, um... I don't like Vanquish. Space while approaching a short ledge to quickly vault up it. Press space while approaching a tall ledge to pull yourself up. It's like a parkour game. Oh, come on, you could have caught that. You chose not to. Hey, what are we supposed to do with the Arboretum again? We are repairing the Arboretum's radio antenna. I recorded you its briefing. Would you like me to play it back to you? No, please. I'm good. I don't need to hear any more of Edith right now. Who's Edith? Edith's decision, I would suggest that you voice these thoughts to her. The engineer's handbook states that directly communicating with interpersonal problems is the best way to find your solutions. Yeah, well, there's nothing to directly communicate, Ezra. Edith doesn't want to promote me, that's her problem. Whoa, that was a little closer than I meant for it to be. Sounds like there's some interpersonal drama going on here. This is a heck of a way that you have to get around to work. Pipes, maybe? I'm not gonna claim to be the best at this kind of gameplay, but I'm gonna give it my all. Alright, so far so good. Oh, that blended in so well that I... Seems we lost signal Whoa. service in the tunnels. We have missed several calls from Edith. Would you like me to call her back, Anna? Nah, hold off on that. Let's fix that antenna first. Okay. No point in giving Edith something else to be angry about. Alrighty. Hey, Ezra. I'm not feeling an elevator right now. Route me a fun way, please. One fun way, coming up. Wait, that way? I think I found my own way. Alright, you insist. Guess we'll do it your way. Um, well, that didn't work well. Let's try that again. You just get out of my space? Oh, you have to hold space. That's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Um... If I have to hold space, how do you expect me to kick off the wall? But she kind of just does it on her own, so that's fine. <laughs> Robot, you really need to chill. Alright, try that again. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Over there, huh? Alright. Let's see what we can do. Um, uh, perhaps we should call here? Not now, Ezra. Ignoring things will not make them any better. Mm, I've got a working theory on that. Anna. Ezra, just let me be angry for a little bit, okay? That is what you wish. Ha! Up. Up, <gasps> please. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, I'm getting into this. Music is shockingly chill for a game of high speed. Okay, pretty confident I actually nailed that. What's the deal? Oh, I can send him to push the button for me. That's why I failed. That makes a little more sense. 
That's a fair question. Sure. Check to see if there's been any important announcements. Already checking. It appears the city is under lockdown. Lockdown? Perhaps now I should call you? Ha! Hold off on that for a second. We're almost to the top. Maybe we'll be able to see what's going on. What's that? Is that a tree clipping through? Whoa! The fan wasn't spinning! I wasn't even expecting that to work! I half expected it to, but... I guess I really should just trust my instincts on these things. Goat Simulator has taught me well. Whoa! What is that? I <laughs> I somehow managed to clip over the railing. I don't know how I managed that. I guess we're going that fast. Oh, I hit the top of the stairs and I launched. Okay. All right, come on, don't let the table impede you that much. Woo! Up, please. I still can't believe it. A Category 10 this far inland. I didn't even think that was possible. Ezra, has Illyria ever been through a Category 10 storm? Records indicate no. The last storm to strike Illyria above a Category 6 was a Category 8 storm, which struck 222 years ago. Slightly before the construction of Illyria's wall and dome was completed. Well, how did the city hold up against that? The city no, suffered it is severe infrastructural damage. Loss of power, water, water, and other basic amenities. Unity, safety, a total of. Ezra, what's wrong? What's happening? Elect elect electrical interference from the storm. It is minor. Are you sure? Many diagnostics. I'm fine. Okay, we'll hang in there just a little longer, buddy. <gasps> Run and jump towards cracked windows to break through them. Only windows damaged by the storm can be broken through. Proceed quickly and calmly to your nearest storm shelter. If you are unaware of the location of the nearest shelter, proceed to any community safety station. Most officials will guide you. Should you or someone you know need assistance, call your local community hotline. <laughs> when she hits full speed pretty fast, so I don't really feel like I need to compensate for that a great deal. Jump over. Alright, get your hand out of the way. Oh dear. I wasn't sure I was going to stick that landing. <laughs> So, is the real threat from the storm the fact that it can harm the dome? I feel like I'm missing some crucial context here. Evacuation to the storm shelter is still on issue. This area was deemed high priority. Should Illyria's infrastructure fail, this neighborhood would be the most effective. How effective? I'm not sure you'd like to know. You know, you're right. Ezra, if we don't fix this power connection, what exactly is going to happen? Without the power provided by the wind tunnels, my calculation put the city defense grid at an 85% chance of failure. Additionally, increased wind speeds from the storm will turn the turbines in the walls faster than they were designed to. This will generate an excess of electricity that, due to the lack of power connection, will not be offloaded onto other systems. Electrical charge will build up in the local batteries. Once these batteries reach maximum capacity, they will be discharged. So you're saying that if we don't fix this in time, a section of the wall is going to catch on fire and blow up? Not exactly, but yes. Great. No pressure. Uh, any engineers out there want to clarify if that's actually something that could happen? I'm not a very smart person, so I would have to take your word for it. If you are unaware of the location of the nearest shelter, proceed to any Oops. community safety station. Posted officials will guide you. Oh, okay. It's not so bad. No. Need assistance. It looks like they're kind of aware that dumb people like me will be playing this game, so it looks like they've kind of already built in some ways to compensate for that. What the? Okay, can, can I just push the button then? Yeah, can I just go around? No, I can't. That is a dead drop. Alright, back up. Full sprint. Okay. The fences seem to have a 
a different kind of collision from everything else. So let's try something a little different. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Push button. Thank you. Don't, whoa! Dude! Don't do that to me! I'm sure they can just put that on my bill or something. Yeah, that'll be fine. If it's already damaged, I'm kind of doing them a favor. They'd have to take the broken paint out anyway. I'll just make it, you know, a lot more dangerous. Maybe you should have just taken the elevator instead of finding a fun way, huh? Attention. You know, we should go to the park more often, Ezra. Well. Well. Right. <laughs> Whoa. I wasn't sure I was going to clear that. Oh, up there. Alright, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm getting better. I'm not failing quite as much as I was before. You need to enter. With what? Oh, I didn't even see that. I can push this one from a mile away, but that other one I had to get right up on it. You're a very interesting little robot companion, aren't ya? Okay, let's stick this landing. Straight down. Alright. Ezra, can you open that door? Sure thing. Initiating emergency override. Attention, all citizens. Proceed quickly and calmly to your nearest storm shelter. All right. If you are unaware of the location of the nearest shelter, proceed to any community safety station and posted officials will guide you. Did I say something about to jump out at me? What was that all about? Whoa. Level transitions, uh... That's not great. ...aren't particularly I subtle. From the storm. Perhaps I can reboot the system. Or perhaps you can do that. Edith, it's Anna. Do you copy? Hearing you loud and clear, Anna. What's your situation? We made it to the wind tunnels. Okay, good. Where are you now? Uh, looks like a hallway leading to one of the ventilation shafts. All right. Work your way up to the control room, re-establish the connection to the grid, and then get out of there. The storm is coming in faster than we projected. I'm sending you the diagnostics now. Okay. Got him. <gasps> hey, Edith, how bad is this thing gonna be? It's gonna be close. But so long as the dome is fully powered, we should be fine. So get to it. If you need anything else, <gasps> call me on this channel. Alright. Good luck, Anna. Thanks, Edith. Edith doesn't seem that bad. Why do you have a beef with her? Uh, well, so much for the direct approach. Um, any ideas? No? Ah, broken glass. Right. I'm totally at liberty to do that. Quickest way to the control room. Processing. Got it. Given current wind speeds, we should be able to ride the air currents up through the ventilation shafts. This will be exponentially faster than conventional service access ways. All right. Up we go then. Right behind you. Yeah, you are. You never get off my case. This place is really falling apart. Perhaps it was like this before. Yeah, I uh, doubt that somehow. Um, Ezra, how are you feeling? Experiencing more interference. But do not worry. Okay, well, we're almost there. And after that, we're going straight to a shelter. Wait, is this one open? Oh, the glass tinting, like, completely threw me off. Okay. There we go. Back on track now. Ah, uh, it literally points you to the side that's open. If I wasn't an unobservant moron, I would have seen that. Did you, did, you, did you know that there are hundreds of miles of pipes like these all throughout Illyria? No, not now, Ezra. I'm trying not to break my legs. That is a fair point. <laughs> um... Oh, there we go. I thought I was only going to be going up. Alright, get your hand out of your face. Looks like somebody left in a rush. I believe you're- I believe you're- leave your mistaken, Anna. My scans ins, ins indicate this was caused by an extreme change in air pressure. Probably the result of the overload Whoa. which destro destroyed the power connector. Don't make too many scans there, buddy. Save your energy. We still gotta get out of here once we're done. Okay, that is very disorienting. And, uh, getting my hand in my face does not do me any favors. Hmm? There's the control panel. It's weird that they were marking that doorway, and then... You know what, it's fine. I got this. 
You're gonna do something about that? Um, did I do something wrong? Okay. That was a little strange. Edith, do you copy? Loud and clear, Anna. What's the situation? We replaced the power connector. Everything looks like it's up and running. Looks good on our end, too. I'm rerouting power to the dome now. Good job, Anna. Now get out of there. Oh, okay. Alright, everybody. Worst of the storm is 30 minutes out. I want status updates on all teams still in the field. This is Team 1 reporting all tasks complete. This is Team 5. Just finished our tasks. Heading to the nearest shelter. This is Team 12. We're the last ones in the northern wind tunnel. Finishing our tasks as we speak. Alright, good work everybody. Get to safety. The emergency crew and I will finish from up here in the tower. Looks like we might just beat this thing. Edith? Edith, do you copy? All right, my little tailgater, let's go investigate. <gasps> Without being an idiot. We gotta go help Edith. Ezra, the power is down on this tram. There, 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 there should be an emergency power switch on top of the tram car. Is that the switch? I guess it is. The button didn't come with us. I wasn't expecting that. Well, whatever. I'll just get to the front then. Huh. Ah, yeah, like an action movie star. Copy? It's Anna. I'm at the base of the tower. Any ideas? No. Um, ah. Edith, do you copy? It's Anna. I'm at Whoa. the base of the tower. Okay, that was a fail. Try that again. Edith, do you copy? It's Anna. I'm at the base of the Ow. tower. Okay, I'm having a little trouble now. And she's gonna repeat that every time I come up here because the trigger wasn't Edith, designed to only go off it's once. Anna. I'm at the base of the tower. Ooh, okay, I actually managed to stick that one. Edith, can you hear me? Do you copy? Ezra, what's the fastest way to the top of the tower? E Ezra? Oh, no. Ezra! Pardon me, Anna. Calculating the fast, fast, fastest right now. No, no, no. Ezra, stop. Stop calculating. Okay, Anna. Sorry. Don't say sorry, Ezra. It's okay. By Edith's calculation, weather conditions will soon be fatal. 96% of Illyria's population has evacuated to the shelters. You should join them, Mom. I have to finish this. Guiding you to the nearest storm shoot. Oh. Enter power saving mode. Rest up, Thank you. Am I just gonna leave him there? I thought she was gonna like sling him on his on her back or something. Why is my checkpoint over there? Oh, there it goes. No one will mind. Edith, please pick up. Anna? Edith! Anna! <laughs> Are you alright? Did you make it to the shelter? No, I'm at the tower. That lightning strike took out the defense grid. We have to reboot the whole system. What do I need to do? There's a switch at the top of the tower. Throw it and I can reboot the system. Ah. Work with us. Whoa. Okay, she gets a little touchy with, like, which angle you're at when you're doing that kind of thing. Can I run up that? That was promising. Edith, please pick up. Anna? Edith! Anna! <laughs> Are 
here alright? Oh jeez. Make it to a shelter. No, I'm at the tower. And these voice that clips are gonna keep looping every time I hit the, the uh, part what that's supposed to, to trigger them. There's a switch at the top of the tower. <gasps> Found oh, a bug. A <laughs> bug report. Um, I'm not sure what that was about. Where's my checkpoint marker right now? Nowhere in sight. Wait, it just reappeared. I don't know what to make of that. Am I, like, on the wrong bit? Maybe it's over here. This seems like a six of one, half dozen of the other kind of situation. Okay. My path before now seemed always fairly obvious. Whoa! I think I just clipped to the floor. Go me. But I'll take it. Okay, this is getting a little bit better. All right. This way. I want to hit this right so I don't get thrown off the tower. Whoa! Okay, I wasn't expecting there to be a ceiling. Ah, rats. Exactly the kind of thing I was trying to avoid. Like, jeez. I swear I'm competent. <laughs> I've played video games before. I really have. It looks like it wants me to jump out and, like, ride the wall into this fan. Ah. <sighs> But they've set it up in such a way where that's really not the best possible, like, way of doing things. Alright, I'm gonna try it. I'm telling you, it's not gonna work. Yeah, like I said, not gonna work. The column of wind is above the platform. So hitting it from the angle doesn't actually do you any good. And, of course. <sighs> this particular bit of level layout needs to be redesigned, I'm just going to be honest. Having a ceiling that low actually really complicates how I'm supposed to relate to it. I'm not sure if I glitched again or if that's how I'm supposed to do that. I also only just realized that holding shift makes her run even faster. Honestly, you don't need it for... Are you kidding me? Okay, there's definitely some kind of hit detection issue I'm having. Uh, it's... It was so good up to this point, and now I'm getting Zen Syndrome. I don't even know how I ended up in that direction. Whatever, that worked, I guess. Being a little better at that. Alright, come on. What? Why? <sighs> That's, like, legit frustrating. Just, why <laughs> would that happen? In every other instance, she hits it and goes straight up. This time, she just hits it, loses all momentum, and then falls. Great. Just great. Uh, 
I, I, like, there's a little jank in the way she moves, and, and that doesn't feel... I cannot see a thing. When I have to look straight up, those two blend together into one big black blur. Okay, doing that seems to work pretty consistently. I don't know why I was able to nail this the first time, and every subsequent attempt thus far afterward has ended in failure. Okay, finally. My hand is going a little numb from the tension I'm putting. Okay. Putting the ceiling there is really, really awkward, because it makes the apex of your jump much, much more shallow than it feels like it ought to be. And you can tell me, oh, hey, you just need to, like, wall dash. Look, I'll do it your way. But it ends exactly in the same way, because the ceiling is still right there. So if your jump is shallow, you're not going to clear it. And then if your jump is too broad, you're just going to overshoot. Why did you guys decide to put a ceiling there of all places? This one doesn't go high enough. Yeah, no, I fall short of the second story, so I have to do it like this. You want me to hit it at an angle, but hitting it at an angle is the worst thing you can do. Doing a shallow jump into it actually makes more sense, but then you run the risk of falling because it's not right up to the lip. Okay, angle myself and just jump straight to it. Which seems to be the best way of approaching the situation, is basically glitching through it in the way you're not supposed to. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm sure this will be just fine. I didn't even see the platform ended. Okay, can I just talk about color theory for a second? I'm having entirely too many instances where things are just blending together because you've made them all exactly uniform in color. And I get you're going for this very stylized approach, or the shading is very cell shady ish I guess. Um, but I legit cannot tell where one platform is ending and another begins if they're the same color. Please do not do that. Oh, come on, where is it? Didn't want to take the elevator, did you, Anna? I must have ended up on exactly the far end or something. Please get up. Oh, yeah. This instills confidence. Why would you put solar panels laterally? Why would you put benches here? Oh, there's actually a door here. Can I go in? No. No, that'd be too easy. Gotta risk life and limb in the worst way possible. Oh gosh, I wasn't ready to actually jump into that yet. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can't take the easy way out. I don't want to... <laughs> keep risking life and limb this way. There doesn't seem to be fall damage, which is a big relief. But the fact that you can fall and just lose progress in some ways is worse. If I fell off and just went back to this uh, checkpoint, it would actually be less frustrating. Let's 
straight above me. Okay, that tells me literally nothing, basically. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, we've done a clean lap around. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Maybe I just overlooked it, but, uh... Nope. Don't suppose I can climb trees, can I? No, she doesn't seem keen on that idea. This fallen tree is my hint. Get on it. Just, it's not that high up. Just jump on the tree. Really? That's what's gonna hold me up? Okay, I legit don't get it. <laughs> what am I overlooking here? Well, I glitched to the floor, that's something. Maybe I can just cheat, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that is the answer. Gravity kicks in relatively quickly. So if I hit it, like... I can almost get enough height on that. Ah! Randomly cheating works again. So is just that vent in the platform then? I don't think it's something I'm going to be able to pull off a second time. So the direct approach is all I have. I, mean, I just had to blind the guess that was going to work, and hey, lo and behold it did. Flower gardens are more of a pain than anything. Whoever designed this place really didn't keep in mind the ease of access. 
And this place is definitely not OSHA or ADA compliant. What is happening? <laughs> the camera just. You did it, Anna. We've got power. The defense grid is back online. We're gonna make it. Oh, she did drag him with her. I don't know what happened exactly. That. Whoa. Well, okay then. Um. All right. <laughs> Okay, to break it down, they have a good thing going. It has its own style, uh, the music and the art are all really, really nice. Level 5 lost me a bit, because it was way too easy to end up in situations where I just drop 30, 40 feet, and then I have to either throw myself off the tower completely to get to the last checkpoint again, which the game is at least kind enough to not, like, take away progress, so I was appreciative of that. Had that happened, I probably wouldn't have seen it all the way through to the end. There, there was too many situations where it was very unclear what they wanted me to do, and it was a little too easy to break the game's physics. I'm pretty sure I cleared that last big jump before the last, uh, the last vent pretty much by breaking the game's collision physics. And I'm pretty confident that's actually not how they wanted me to clear it. <laughs> I think with a little bit of reorganization of the level to make it a little more streamlined, I think it would have been a better overall experience, but I leave that reserved exclusively for level 5. Everything else was very logical and had its own style and flair and motif to it. And I appreciated that because it made each level feel distinct. I really like this. It does feel like the uh, collision could use a little bit of work because again, I've literally cheated in at least two spots. Uh, or at least it sure felt like I did because it didn't feel like that's actually a way that should have worked, but it just did. <laughs> Um, overall, I liked it. I found that very enjoyable, and the it was a fast-paced game, but it wasn't so fast as to be completely uncontrollable. Um, it felt like there was a good balance and compromise in exactly how quickly Anna moved. I think Ezra could have backed off just a little bit. <laughs> he was kind of tailgating me the entire time he was active. Uh, it felt a little invasive. Like, every time I turned around, he was, like, right there in my face. Uh, so maybe make him follow at a slightly greater distance so he's not literally just up in my grill. Or, like, have him run on my back, even. Like, does he need to even have his own individual model? Like, can he just not ride in, like, my backpack or something? Just some ideas. Uh, but overall, Sunline was really entertaining, and even though I did not know what I was getting myself into, I enjoyed what it was. Uh, and I think a little polish, this would be a really good full-length game. Now, obviously, this is a demo. It's free on Steam. Link is always in the description. I think you guys should give it a try for yourself and see if you can do way better than me because I'm terrible at this. <laughs> this is the Hipster Snack, and I'm signing off for now.